So I'm, I'm sitting here pondering. So I'm going back and forth with a guy on here. And uh, what is prophecy if it's not things to come? When you prophesy, you're prophesying of things to come. The Bible says not to, to disregard prophecy. Be very careful who you listen to. And if they deny the power thereof, run. Run as fast as you can away get away from that person before their thoughts and their their take on everything is takes root inside of you me and my mom my mom has been reading the bible since i could remember <laughs> she loves the lord man no doubt about it she loves the lord i know that it, 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 it and and uh <laughs> I just know that. But um, we have different views on things of the Bible because we're different in the sense that we, when we read the Bible, we get different translations of such. And it's because of how we, as in the physical, how we think how we read it. But we have the same spirit, the Holy Spirit, which brings about all truth. And I'm going to tell you something, man. Prophetic word is of things to come. People didn't want to believe back in the days of Christ that Christ was God or the Son of God or likened to and and <coughs> excuse me <coughs> Jesus compared himself to God and it got him crucified because the believers then in his time could not comprehend. They could not understand what he was saying. They couldn't understand it. They just couldn't bring them, they couldn't wrap their head around the fact that Christ is the Son of God. They were still waiting for the Messiah to come. As in the days of Noah, so it shall be. And we're going to see it again. It's going to happen again, man. It's going to happen like this. It's going to be people are waiting on the Messiah. And that's how the devil is going to trick people because people are so waiting on something that they can see instead of something that's already here that they can't see. <laughs> They're waiting and the devil's going to deceive many, many, many more. He already has. He's deceived many with this thing that's going on right now. But he's going to deceive even more people When the physical man comes on scene and starts doing real miracles. You know, I, I've seen a lot of preachers and stuff and pastors that, that uh, you know, a person to have a, 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 a one leg that's shorter than the other and they, 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 they pray for it and, the, and the, the leg grows out. Man, 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 man.
Jesus is my king. And every king has a kingdom. Kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, and the kingdom of Christ to come. They're all the same kingdom. They're all the same kingdom. Just like the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are all the same. They're one and in the same. Go read John chapter 17. We will be part of that oneness. We will be where they are and we'll be like they are. One and in the same. Wrap your head around that one. We have to be very careful. To, you know, people want to pick apart the Bible. They want to pick it apart. When somebody dies, man tries to figure out how they died. The Word of God is not dead. It is alive, a living, breathing. It is alive, man. The Word of God is not dead. We can't pick it apart. We have to rely on the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us into all truth. And if we rely on anything else other than the Holy Spirit, we are going to be drugged away by man and what man thinks about this doctrine, about that doctrine. Rely on the Holy Spirit, man. We have to rely on the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is going to bring us into all truth. He is going to, in the time of need, He is going to give you the words to say that you, that you need so dreadfully. Because you're not going to be able to think of what to say in that dreadful time. But the Holy Spirit that is inside of you is going to give you the words to say. And they're just going to come right out your mouth. You have to believe in this Holy Spirit that God has given us. That Christ has sent down here for us to lead us and guide us into all truth. We cannot sit here and try and pick apart the Bible. The Bible, the Word of God is not dead. We can't figure it all out. That's why we have the Holy Spirit. If we had Jesus in the physical like the disciples did, we would we we had had the living, breathing word walking with us like they had him. We do still have a type of that. And it's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit lives inside us. It is breathing and living and alive. Please don't try to pick apart the Word of God. Just rely on the Holy Spirit. God over everything. Jesus is my King. Bye.